sorry. I have a really big problem of trust with you. I don't think it's that hard for me to go over to America and try to, uh, for us to try again, but I think it's... Okay, I know exactly where you're, you're going with this. I don't want to cut you off, but um, one solution that I thought of is um, putting cameras, like, in the house. You can easily just get rid of any footage of you hitting me or anything. Like, I, I cannot trust that. Okay, I can't... But if I give you, like, the full, like, you know what I mean, like, complete access to it and, how do, like, How do I know if you're going to give me all of that full access to everything, let's say, and then you just... I... You, you, just, you just take it all back because you want to with force. Like, how... I will not i understand you know what i mean like my faults and like where we went what i went wrong and that's the thing i know i know i know that you see the situation and yes our relationship and what we had is something definitely worth trying for mm -hmm. but but for you if something goes wrong if i decide to not keep up with my end of the part all you have is mm -hmm. you don't have scars left on your body you just you just have me leaving or some shit like a divorce. Uh, I'm, I'm saying, like, that's not so going to that, happen. That's, 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 also, that's the like, part I, where, where I think you don't understand is that for me, I, I went through some shit that left scars on my body. I, mm -hmm. I, I get aggressive and irrational. You get violent. For me, the preventative measures that I can take is one, putting cameras in the house. I'm giving you all the access to that. Um, and then two, I'm actually going to be getting a job that's all cool and that's all good like ways to try but it's not direct solutions it's a fucking it cycle has to be the last time. it has to be but like it's 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 always said at urgent times this has to be the last time and it will be the last time and this is this is our last chance and then we've it fucking never, happens again we've we've never tried it like this before though you know how you say that you try to hurt me in ways that like you know what i mean i will never be able to hurt you Yes. It's the same thing. I can't hurt you emotionally like you hurt me. So it gets physical. Yeah, and that became my outlet. I'm not saying that it's right and I'm apologizing. I'm so sorry. If there's one thing that I've realized throughout this time apart is that I fucking love you with every single fucking fiber of my being. Can I tell you two things, too? Yeah, go ahead. Number one is that for me, it's been hell, too, ever since I left. Yeah. Every, every, every single night. Like, I can't sleep well and I can't, like eat well and i my tendency to run away from everything just keeps getting worse and worse i i remember you know what we used to have it was like i was in heaven right because and i'm sure for yeah. you too but yeah i i went to the chongshinkwa like a psych, psychology thingy because mm -hmm. it got really really bad i couldn't do mm -hmm. norm, normal life mm -hmm. she told her everything and she was like if it got to the point that it got it got worse and worse and she eventually like hucked it, you like abused mm -hmm. you no matter how hard they claimed they would work on it the chances of them actually changing but she would personally strongly advise not going back to a partner that was abusive that's the logical side right and yeah. me i'm thinking i want to go back because i want to make everything fucking work yeah. and we have kids and Chagya, Chagya, i've been giving 10%. you a chance i've been giving you a chance every day for three years <laughs> I will not, I never will so because sorry. I'm telling you, Young that Chuka she got to that has literally been suicidal this entire time and I'm telling you, please just give me one more chance and I will make sure that it never happens again. I'm telling you I can't trust please, people anymore. Please one more chance. I can't trust anybody please, one anymore. One more chance, please. I'm telling you. You fucked me, huh? Young please, one more chance is all I'm asking for. I understand that and I'm so sorry and I apologize and I'm just asking for one more chance. I'm telling I, you. I've been suicidal for the past three years. <laughs> I want to give you a chance, but I can't, I can't get out the feeling no, that if I, leave. if I do, I, I'm going to be a slave again and I'm going to be beat like a dog no, again. Won't, I won't be treated, I will be I treated promise. like. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise with everything in me, I promise. <laughs> can you, can you send me Savannah and Safir? I'll take care of them. No, they, he Please just give me, you have to at least see me, please. It's Nobody, happened before, then it'll happen again. Action I'm does speak louder right than words. Now. Normal people wouldn't treat somebody like a fucking slave and not let them sleep and fucking Nobody. physically harass them. Nobody. That's not regular toxic. If this was regular toxic, I would give it a chance a million times. Those first couple days were like heaven on fucking earth. And I knew from that day forward you were my person. And I fucked that up.
that up naturally. I know I fucked it up. You remember when, when <laughs> we had to sneak around and put you in my dorm room and we were laying in the bed that one day and we said it was too good to be true and you were in like a dream. And we said it was like a dream, baby. We could still be a dream. You remember our late nights at the dental apartment and you fucking loved me so much you wanted to spend more time with me and you used your whole allowance to come out there and you tried to get a job <laughs> because you wanted to be with me i showed my therapist our youtube channel and you know what he said he said regardless of if some of this was faked he said one thing that you can never fake is the look that you guys gave each other the looks that you guys give each other and he said, I understand that while you guys might have, it's understandable to take a wrong path in this type of situation. It's very high stress, and I understand the both of you. He said, you cannot fake that kind of love. And he said, even like 800,000 people can feel your love, and you cannot fake that. I don't care if the fucking pranks were faked and like all that stuff. We never have to do a fucking prank again in our lives. I fell in love with Myungja, the fucking... The musician, Myungjin, the weird guy, the goofy guy. <laughs> and I didn't give a fuck what other people thought of you, what people thought of your fucking hair. I fell in love with Myungjin. But your actions show different you actually showed me that all you care about is money and all you care about is our youtube stat all no. you care about is my hair looking okay in the black community y'all you cared about is it's okay Wait, i don't give a fuck we can get off social media Plus, i had to we fake my personality i had to fake I shit like you, you give me all the freedom in the world i had to Sorry. i had to fake cry for shit i'm not i don't give a fuck about i have your fucking face on my right arm because you thought it would be great yeah. for views I have your fucking face on my arm because you wanted more money. I'm, I, we can completely re get rid of that aspect. We won't ever have to think about YouTube again. I'm gonna get a high paying job. That's that's not the point. I told you you were controlling and you were okay with, you were good with that. <laughs>